my task is to go through my electrolytic capacitors. These on this side are not, but today I'm doing the electrolytic capacitors. Uh, I had some over here. Uh, got a few over here uh, because, well, first of all, these storage boxes aren't free, and I'm starting to run out of space, and I don't really want to buy any more. And also, I've just got a lot of obsolete ones. So these, where my finger is, these are 6.3 volt. Um, these are 10 volt. These two back here are 16 volts. These two bins are 25, 35, 50. And back here, they're gone now, but these were my uh, higher, like 100 volts and higher. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna sort through these. Let me show you why I wanna get rid of the obsolete ones. Now these are 6.3 volt capacitors. These are 10 volt and these are 16 volt. Now in the old days, if you're going to have the same value, let's say 100 microfarads, the 6.3 would cost less than the 10 and the 10 would cost less than the 16 volt. So if you're going to place a million capacitors, uh, saving a penny or two here and there would make a big difference. But when you're pulling these things out of boards and you're not paying anything, well, then the price is all the same. So what's next uh, in value? Well, the next thing in value is making sure that you have a current component, you know, one of the best quality, the newest, because older capacitors just may, well, they're just not as good as the newer ones. And then the other thing is size. So when you're placing something on a board, size is important. I've rearranged things here a bit. Uh, these are all, with a caveat, these are all 1000 microfarad, so all the way across here. These first two are 6.3 volt. You can see that this first one is much smaller than the second one. This is a newer technology. Uh, why, why do I want to keep one around that's bigger and lower technology? Might as well take it out and throw it away, right? And save myself some space. And that way when I'm stripping uh, newer boards, I can keep the newest technology and not be using old junk that's going to quit on me. Uh, same is true here with these 10 volts. You can see that this one right here is bigger than all these these other two and again old technology wasting space in my storage bins okay here we have the 16 volts uh, but there's a caveat here and the caveat is this is 16 volts this one is a hundred microfarads this one is a thousand microfarads this one is ten times smaller than this one uh, so why am I keeping this old thing this is an antique and it's you know just a waste of space and uh, I'm not going to use it, and if I do use it, well, I'd be kind of foolish because it's a waste of space both in my storage and it's a waste of space on any circuit board that I build. And then we can go all the way over to here, and this brown one is actually 1,000 microfarads, but it's 35 volts. And then this last one is just really an antique. I took this out of an old car stereo a million years ago, and so as you can see, this thing is 1,000 microfarads, 16 volts, and so is this one, and this one is one-fourth the size of this. So again, a waste of space on my project board and a waste of space in my storage. Um, now, one argument would be that, okay, the, the lower voltage components, the older components, they're free, I have them anyway. Well, no, not really, because the storage costs me, and every time I go digging through stuff, I waste time. So as soon as this video is over, this one, this one, and this one are going in the trash. Um, but uh, that's the argument for going through your old components every now and again and cleaning out the old ones uh, get rid of them stick with the new technology uh, and use the very best you can find okay well that was it i hope you find this useful and interesting in your home diy electronics projects